Donald Trump is promising to extend his tax cuts for the wealthy if reelected at a private fundraiser on Saturday, which cost a minimum of $250,000 to attend. Trump spoke about securing our southern border, reducing inflation, and extending the Trump tax cuts. That's according to his campaign, which declined a request by NBC News to have a reporter present or to make a transcript of Trump's remarks available. Next year, some of the key provisions of Trump's 2017 tax cuts are set to expire, including a break that benefits hedge funds, private equity partnerships, and privately held companies. After Saturday's fundraiser, Trump bragged on Truth, on Truth Social, I guess. Uh, was it Truth? Yes, it was. On social media about his, uh, the money his campaign brought in, which was reportedly north of $50 million. In response, the Biden campaign started posting photos of some of the, quote, scammers, racists, and extremists it says are funding Trump's 2024 run. Yeah, you know, you uh, Jonathan Lemire. Uh, That's him, I think, at his live. He had some sort of golf tournament that yeah. was we'll get very. In, we'll get into that. We'll get into that Trumpy. a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the fact that he's talking to these billionaires, Jonathan, saying, I'm going to. Well, you know, the night that he, he passed the tax cut, he had all the millionaires and billionaires sitting around him in Mar-a-Lago, and he said, I just made a lot of you a phone. lot of money yeah. tonight. Now, I think he flew down and told them that. Oh, okay. I made you guys, I just made you all a lot of money. And here, he's basically promising the same thing. Of course, it would be great to move those tax cuts to help small businesses, uh, 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 s small family restaurants, small businesses in general, startups, entrepreneurs. But that's not that's not Trumpism. Trumpism is give the billionaires, give the people at the very top billions and billions of dollars. Allow them to, you know, pay less of a percentage of their taxes than their secretaries. Pay less uh, in, in a percentage than people do who do their lawns. It's 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 an outrageous setup. And it leaves small business owners and the middle class and the working class behind. Yeah, first on the fundraiser, uh, the Trump campaign has said it raised over $50 million. Right. We haven't seen any numbers to back know. that up just yet. Well, that will come in filings uh, down the road. But even with that number, it still uh, leaves him well behind President Biden's reelection campaign in terms of having uh, cash on hand. Um, but you are right that this is another moment where Donald Trump has made clear who his constituency is, uh, that some portions of the Trump tax cuts that were passed back in 2017 are set to expire next year. Uh, Trump has said, of course, he would not only uh, extend them, but try to further them, Rev. And I think that's that does show you know, who he caters his policies towards, which is why, again, there's that sort of conundrum that does this sort of the contradiction that, yes, he serves the, the, the wealthy and they tend to vote for him. But so much of his supporters are from people, the working class from poor people who get nothing from his policies, but yet still stand by him. He tries to appeal uh, with cultural issues to those working class and poor. And uh, they identify culturally uh, because the, many of them feel that they've been uh, somewhat forgotten or cast aside. I think the messaging challenge for the Biden campaign is to make it clear these are the people that are sponsoring him, that are standing with him despite his legal troubles, and these are the people whose his policies helped. He did make them rich and didn't help you more. He didn't help you with student loans. He didn't help you with things like housing and other issues that are of, of your concern. So don't let the fact that a guy can be culturally uh, pretending to relate to you get you in the way of your own interests. We've had people on in my community that could be my brother but could be doing me in, and he's the guy that's doing you in. They've not quite nailed getting that message to a lot of voters across the country. The Trump tax cuts come up for renewal in 2025. So this is an election where it hinges on who goes in office, what's your tax rate going to be? And I think what we see from that fundraiser, look at the billionaires, murder row of billionaires who lined up and are featured on the invitation for it. They are betting that Trump is going to get reelected in November. That's where the 
a substantial majority of the billionaire class is right now. And possibly it's to their benefit, but they're also hedging right now to get in there. And so this is a billionaire class that doesn't matter if there's an insurrection at the Capitol, that uh, right. Donald Trump isn't necessarily supporting free and fair elections. They don't care as long as their tax rate stays low. Yeah, and he's saying a lot of that out loud. Uh hey, everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on Get or the Cloud icon and enjoy it.